Hello my uh, TV tray modelers. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, paint the paintbrushes, large surface on your models with paintbrushes. Um, you can go to these uh, places like uh, Walmart or Hobby Lobbies and uh, some hobby stores and they come up with uh, value uh, sets like this. Um, this is an acrylic set, uh, they call it the auto color, colors. Uh, they are uh, water washable, non-toxic acrylics. Uh, comes with tri uh, 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 12 acrylics and two paintbrushes. And you get things like this one. You also have come. They come with in uh, enamel. This also comes with. Uh, this is a nine bottle set. Uh, it has, also has a paint thinner in it. Uh, you can see the colors on it. There's a sale price for $7.94. Uh, that's pretty good uh, things to set. So you don't you don't want to spend a lot of uh, money on your hobby. You just want to enjoy yourself. Sit in front of the TV, paint your models. This time, what I'm what I'm wanting to show you is, is how to use these things on large surfaces. Uh, so you won't have to uh, you know you can't sit in your watching TV or looking in your living room and spray painting. Uh, mainly want to uh, type. I don't know if you want to use as the uh, enamel uh, in your living room or your dining room uh, painting well, they might have, the enamels might have a little smell to it, especially the thinners uh, the acrylics are probably best to do that but the main thing I want to show you is just using up these uh, paint brushes uh, that you can uh, that comes with the pack uh, some of these are pretty hard that you can get from them but some are pretty soft but if you got paint brushes that, that's too hard, you can still, if you get it at the hobby store, if you're going to Hobby Lobby, you can find a paint brush a little bit softer bristles and a little bit larger. You actually can use something that's this large on your on your little uh, uh, models that, that you can use because you want to load this paint brush up with paint. It would keep the keeps the uh, minimums of streaks on your models itself. Unless you want to do, uh, if you want to look like this. Okay, uh, one of the things you have to learn about is the uh, glossy and flat colors. Uh, I'll tell you, start with this acrylic. Um, the glossy and the acrylic on the acrylic paints and the uh, flat uh, are pretty easy to paint with the acrylics, but you want to use the flat uh, colors to paint with. They flow much better and they paint easier. I found that the uh, flat black and uh, olive drab. Are probably the best things to paint with uh, for for a larger surface. Now, if you use the flat black and paint over it, um, you make it much easier for you to put the uh, gloss on top of it or another color. I also seen uh, the uh, a lot of the silvers are pretty easy to paint with, even in, even other other than just acrylic and enamel. The silvers that seem to paint much easier uh, the in the flat colors I mean, or the uh, light grays but the two main colors are that the easier to paint with is flat black and olive green even in the enamel okay is our next thing you want to do is when you start testing your paints is uh, when you the models have parts and they come with trees and what you want to test your paint on or, or your technique with is use these uh, um, trees and paint on them on the surfaces. You, can, you know, these paint your paints, test your acrylics or your enamels across these surfaces here before you actually put it on them on your parts themselves. Uh, you want to test the colors out on there, see if you get a good technique to keep from streaking on your paints. And the other thing you want to try is on the on when you start working with large surfaces. Uh, this this is a card my truck part this is the interior of my car but see I made this is I designed this for give it a little bit of a weathery look like somebody is worn out and worn on it but I tested under the bottom first I painted the black on with the acrylic paint for this this is still this is a flat black and this is the uh, acrylic red that I used on the inside of this but I also weathered it with enamel 
uh, give it a look, give it a little bit of worn look. Like the guy was, you know, he wore his oily clothes inside the uh, vehicle and got oil on the uh, red. Uh, so I, de I designed to paint it that way to make that look. But you want it, what you want to do is you buy them out like they just test it out on the bottom parts or where places where you can't be seen at and test your paints out and see if it works. See if you put a black flat black on there or a primer. If it doesn't come with a primer, put the put the use a flat color like this, then paint the uh, gloss over top of that using the paintbrush. And I'm going to show you this other thing where I may have made a mistake on. Now here's a part where I tried to uh, use just a straight gloss. You see how bad that looked? That's streaking from using a harder paintbrush like this. You see how bad that is by looking at that. Colors didn't come out at all. But see, you can't see this part on the model, but you can see this end. So again, I put the flat black on there. I use it as a primer. This is the way you want to try it out your uh, on larger surface. Just use the uh, insides. I used to also use the insides of my uh, truck with uh, to start out with, so you can see the surfaces. You can see you also notice some of the gla glossy areas on there, about area right here uh, where I paint over the uh, with the flat black. If you can see that. Okay, you can look inside the cab of my pickup truck. You notice all the flat black on there, and then there's the flat red. And you also notice it started to look glossy on there. That I painted over with gloss. That kept it smooth, but also did the weathering in there with using the, uh, uh, the thinners and things. We mixed with the uh, black to put on there, make it look like it's, uh, somebody had their hands all over it. This is the large surfaces. What I want to do is show you how to uh, paint on the outside. But yeah, mainly the silvers. I haven't decided what color I'm going to paint this truck yet. But I'm going to use a uh, car first. This is part of my uh, Monster Hunter, my apocalyptic Monster Hunter uh, uh, series that I'm doing on, on this channel. Uh, I haven't decided what exact color I'm going to paint, paint this, but I also want to use a uh, hand painted technique. The, the uh, people, when they first started building these cars, they didn't have power to. Uh, use an airbrush so they had to use a hand paints then they can use the uh, power from the gas and power from the trucks to power up their machines after that but now I'm a paint painted by hand okay so my main goal is to uh, show you how to uh, paint with uh, hand brushes uh, without spending a whole lot of money uh, using things like the, the acrylic and the uh, these enamel things, but I'll spend a lot of money on paints and running around hobby stores and ordering paints for you. Uh, when you know the store doesn't have them, or they might be too old. So you get things like this and, uh, and enjoy your model building. I'll show you the next part. Well, I'll show you start showing you how to paint with the model themselves, and you probably figure out your own technique without causing any streaks to your uh, while you're painting your model. And mainly, it seems mainly what what works is the using the flat colors, even with the enamels, that works out. That keeps the proper flow and keep it real watery, or uh, and uh, that that keeps it from streaking. Uh, the enamels they dry much faster, must streak right over. But well, the main technique, what you want to tr try not to do, is go back over the same paints again, but not so watery it leaves a drip on your your only model while you're painting it. Uh, seems the, f the flat colors seem to do, to do that, but you start with the uh, flat colors and you put the uh, gloss over top of it. But you learn your own technique. 